I'm going to sing you a song that I co-wrote with my great-great-grandfather. His name was Pearly Wolcott. He was born in 1852 out on the Susquehanna River in Pennsylvania. And uh, he spent his life uh, joyfully rhyming constantly. And one of the many, probably thousands of poems that he wrote was this one called Sweet Memory uh, that he wrote and read on the occasion of my grandparents' marriage wedding in uh, July of 1924. Um, the poem is short and sweet, so I've used it as the chorus of a song about Pearlie's life. I hope you enjoy it. The song is called, like the poem is called, Sweet Memory. Well, Pearlie Wolcott, he was a kin of mine from another place. Another time he was born amidst the sawdust on the lumber camp tent floor. Up Wolcott Hall and on Wolcott Creek, where the Susquehanna runs slow and deep. He worked in the mill from the age of ten until the end of the Civil War. And the Parkers, they were down Easterners since 1600 and 35 old men. He was the blacksmith out near Sacarapa Falls. And then in 71 by Conestoga, they headed late for gold out in California. But the money and that wagon stop at the Jefferson County line. And it's a long and winding road that never wearies me. A road I often travel with old friends I wish to see. The road is called Sweet Memory, so old yet ever new. And in fancy I often wander there to meet and talk to you. Well, the blacksmith's daughter had raven hair And at 18 years, you know, the boys all stared But Pearlie's heart was hers From the time that they first met Sally was her given name But he called her Sadie all the same And every day he'd walk for a mile or more Just to brighten Sadie's door well, on Rose Creek's banks, their young love grew. They'd be married in Christmas of 72. But the Parker's house was on the wrong side of the county line. So a stubborn parson and a shivering crowd crossed the road to a field where the wind blew loud to have a cold but legal wedding and went home to laugh and dine. And it's a long and winding road never wearies me, a road I often travel with old friends I wish to see. The road is called Sweet Memory, so old yet ever new. In fancy I often wander there to meet and talk to you. Sadie lost her leg, but they were never hungry, they never begged. For 30 years they raised their kids, forgetting Sadie's youthful quest. But when the kids moved out and her mama died, Sadie's dreams of California came back in a sigh. Well, Pearlie just smiled and sold everything to take a Sadie to her golden west. They bought a house that they loved in the L.A. sun. They rented half of it out, found a store to run. Life was good and love was strong for this happy aging pair. Then in 28, with his Sadie gone, Pearlie went back to the creek to live out life on the farm. But that house was not a home without his girl with the raven hair. 
And it's a long and winding road that never wearies me. A road I often travel when old friends I wish to see. The road is called Sweet Memories, so old yet ever new. In fancy, I often wander there to meet and talk to you. Well, Pearly packed his bag, went back to the only home he knew. He was just a pussy footer who had rhymed his whole life through. For ten more years he lived and worked and smiled at his blessed life. Whenever he got lonely, there was that road where he met his wife. It's a long and winding road. Never wearies me, a road I hop and travel when old friends I wish to see. The road is called Sweet Memory, so old yet ever new. In fancy, I have wandered there to meet and talk to you. It's a long and winding road that never wearies me. Road I hop and travel with old friends I long to see. The road is called Sweet Memory, so old yet ever new. In fancy I have wandered there to meet and talk to you.